hello friends welcome to my youtube channel that is tech Vizzo. in today's video we will try to make our router work as a repeater for this we have multiple of products that is uh, that are available in the market that can that router may be of uh, like tp link cisco linksys tenda or different products that are locally available in the market but in today's case we'll gonna discuss and we'll gonna set up our tp-link router in today's case we will make our tp-link router to work as an extender or repeater so without any further delay we'll let us start our video but before it if you are new to my channel do subscribe my channel if you like my work please share it with your friends and do press the like button also thank you very much let us start our video so for this we uh, have let's say a router that is here we gonna uh, find the router uh, in my case there are two router that is available one is like that uh, TP-Link 8ED which is the main router that has an internet connection in it and the other one is this TP-Link 8FE8 router so we we'll have to configure our this router to cascade with this 8EDA router and repeat it or extend this router through this 8BFE8 router so we have already connected our BFE8 router through Wi-Fi now what we have to do here we have to go to our this uh, mm, Google Chrome and go to the the login page or the console of this our now here what we have we have a Google Chrome opened now here we have to go to our console of the tp-link router that we have to make ex an extender for this we have to write first console ip that will be like 192.168.0.1 press the hit button now it will ask the user login page will come up and in this page you will have a username or password credentials that you have to put so in our special case like in this tp-link router the username and password is admin and the password is also admin but if you are using some different products like cisco or linksys then the case may be different so we gonna write the username that is admin here and the password is also admin login tab so this is the main console of our tp-link wireless router that we are going to make with an extender now here this page will show the status of the all the setup that has been made with our router go to the operation mode and here we have multiple choices that how our router will react or our how our router be configured so there are four different kind of modes that the wires can be acquired so the a router can acquire that is wireless router that is a normal mode which normally router are connected with the second one is WISP if you have an ISP connection then you can use that mode now the third one is the access point means if you want to make your router to act like an access point now the fourth one is our the range extender which is our main uh, thing so we, uh, what we have to do here we have to make the operation mode like an range extender and click the save button now the page says that 
the change of operation mode will not take effect until the device reboot would you like to change the operation mode we have to make it ok the system will start rebooting for now we have to wait once you change the mode of the uh, router then it will go for its default username and the password that is the SSID and its password so here what we have to do is refresh the page again and configure it okay so now here you see the operation mode of this uh, router has become now the range extender so now what we have to do here is uh, go to the uh, wireless setup and go to the extended network so what we have here we have extended network setting before uh, this we have to connect to the network in this mode we uh, configure our router to connect with the router that has internet and the router or the connection we want to extend now there are two ways to connect it if you want to connect it directly if you know the SSID you can directly write it here and a MAC address of the uh, router that is to be bind and if you don't know it then you will have to scan it here uh, if we are going to scan it then we have multiple choices SSIDs that are available here like uh, these but our main concern uh, TP link 8 EDA is the main router that we have to connect with our router to make it range extender now click the connect button now it will ask for the password of our main router that has an internet with it so write down the password of that router and make it save okay it will try to connect now once you change the operation mode of this uh, router then it will acquire the same properties network properties of the router that you have connected with that router now here what we see is that now this our router that is EF TP link 8 uh, e E F uh, now become the TP link 8 E T A. So putting that admin and okay now it will only shows the properties of the main router that is connected with you extended network so if you want to connect with your uh, extended network router then you'll have to write it here like tp link wi-fi dot net admin admin if you write it that then you will connect to the center Wi-Fi router that is your extended network router that you have kind of, you have currently configured as a router as an extender now here what we have if you want to change the so here you see uh, this is our the range extender it is the same username and the password and that the our main router has so now go to the google.com and see whether it is working or not now now it is working 
go to our YouTube and check it YouTube is working Browsing a bit slow but it is working nicely so hope you will understand how to make our router work as an extender with our available Wi-Fi router which has internet in it hope you like the video if you like the video press the like button do share with your friend thank you very much bye bye